Observe the two diagrams carefully. Diagram 1 shows an image formed when a convex lens is used to focus an object onto a screen. Diagram 2 shows an image formed when a concave lens is used to focus an object onto a screen. From your observation, what can you deduce about the characteristics of the image formed by the two types of lenses? At the end of this lesson, you should be able to Compare and contrast images of distant objects formed by convex lenses and concave lenses. In a ray diagram, the light rays from a distant object are shown as parallel rays of light. Let's watch what happens when the rays from a distant object pass through the convex lens. Enter the characteristics of the image formed in the spaces provided. Click on the correct answer. Click on the check button to check your answer. That's not right. Please try again. Characteristics of image of distant objects formed by a convex lens are 1. Real 2. Inverted 3. Diminished Let us now watch what happens when the rays from a distant object pass through the concave lens. Enter the characteristics of the image formed in the spaces provided. Click on the correct answer. Click on the check button to check your answer. Characteristics of image of distant objects formed by a concave lens are 1. Virtual 2. Upright 3. Diminished We have learned before that concave lenses and convex lenses produce an image when an object is seen through them. What are the similarities and differences between the images formed by both lenses? Click on the labels Similarities and Differences to learn about it. Mouse over convex lens and concave lens to view ray diagram. Image formed by refraction of light. The size of image formed is smaller than the object. The image is real, inverted. Image is virtual, upright. Drag and drop the correct answer into the empty box and click the check button to check your answer. Your answer is correct. Complete the ray diagram by drawing the appropriate lines from the object. Click the check button to check your answer.
That's not right. Please try again. Your answer is incorrect. This is the correct answer. Click on the correct answer. What are the similarities between the image formed by a concave and convex lens? A. The images are upright. B. The images are inverted. C. The images are diminished. D. Image formed by reflection of light through lens. That's not right. Please try again. Your answer is correct. Image of a distant object formed by a concave lens is upright. What would the image formed by a convex lens be? A. Upright B. Parallel C. Inverted D. Cannot be captured on the screen Your answer is correct. An image by a concave lens is always A. Real and smaller than the object B. Real and bigger than the object C. Virtual and smaller than the object D. Virtual and bigger than the object Your answer is correct. Which of the following is true about the image of a distant object formed by a concave and convex lens? Convex. 1. Virtual. Real. Inverted. Concave. Real. Virtual. Upright. Your answer is correct. A student draw light rays passing through lenses W, X, Y and Z as shown in the diagram. F is the focal point of lenses. Which drawing shows the correct path of the light rays? Your answer is correct. The characteristics of image of distant objects formed by a convex lens are real, inverted, diminished. The characteristics of image of distant objects formed by a concave lens are virtual, upright, diminished. For both convex and concave lens, the images of distant objects are formed by the refraction of light through the lenses. Have you seen this equipment before? What are the uses of this equipment? Click the picture to learn more. Convex lens can be used as a roadside mirror. Roadside mirrors are always placed on the sharp corner and blind spots of the road. This mirror is important for the drivers to warn them of oncoming cars. Drivers could take necessary precaution when they could see the image of the car coming from the corner in front of them.